Hi, my name is Terry McCullough. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Expert Talks. We receive many questions on the different types of biological samples that are tested for drugs, and we hope to answer those for you in this video. Many different types of specimens can be tested for drugs. As a forensic laboratory, Expert Talks tests even the most unusual specimens. However, we're going to focus on four of the most commonly tested specimens that are used within drug place, workplace drug testing programs, drug courts, and the probation system. So let's get started. Urine is the most common sample used in drug tests. Metabolized drugs can be found in the creatinine within the urine. Though the average detection period for urine drug testing is between five and seven days, it's important to understand there are a number of controllable and uncontrollable variables that influence the detection period. These include the specific type of drug ingested, how much is consumed, the concentration of the drug, the frequency of use, and how quickly a person's body metabolizes, among others. Drug testing with urine is the least expensive type of drug test and the type of sample most people are familiar with. However, there are also a number of drawbacks to urine drug testing that you must be aware of. In certain situations, direct observation of the specimen collection is necessary. This means that same gender collectors must be available and it's not always easy to ensure both a male and a female are present. Employers especially must consider the wait time that may occur if a candidate or employee donor is unable to provide a specimen immediately. On some occasions, the donor may even have what is referred to as shy bladder syndrome. The donor will not be able to leave the collection site until a sample is provided. Finally, if someone is going to try to adulterate a drug testing specimen, it is going to be urine. All you need to do is go onto the internet and you're going to find all kinds of products and suggestions for masking or adulteration. Generally, there are processes in place to compensate for these efforts. However, it's not 100% foolproof system. Internet savvy donors anticipate drug tests. Therefore, if an employer or other organization, such as a probation office, schedules drug tests too far in advance or if a specific time of the month or date becomes known, the drug user will stop using to avoid a positive test result in anticipation of the test. The next type of specimen we will discuss is hair. Hair is very difficult to adulterate, though certain hair products such as bleach and hair dye can reduce the concentration of drugs in the hair. The most common detection period used in hair testing also known as hair follicle testing, is 90 days, though depending on the length of the hair, longer periods can be tested. Hair grows at a rate of one half inch every 30 days, so the collector will collect one and a half inches of hair for a 90 day detection period. Portions of hair will be collected from three or four different sections on the head, and when combined, the amount of hair will be approximately the width of a Sharpie marker. Why is hair collected from different areas? Drugs are not evenly distributed in the hair, and blood supply to the hair follicles influences the distribution. So what are some of the advantages of using hair specimens for drug testing? Hair is difficult to adulterate. There is no need for same gender collectors or restroom facilities. It's a quick collection process, so no wait time is influenced by the donor. A longer abuse history will be reflected. Therefore, if an employee candidate or a probationer quits drugs a week before a drug test, the hair specimen will still reflect whether or not he or she used drugs at some point during the period tested. Interestingly, Another major laboratory completed a study that reflected 10 times more positive drug tests are derived from testing hair versus urine. Hair drug testing is more expensive than urine drug testing. However, because of the longer detection periods 
an organization can possibly reduce the frequency of random drug tests, which help compensate for the cost difference. The other downside is donor perception. When donors first see the amount of hair cut from their head, they may get upset or angry. The reality is, hair is cut from the underside from three or four different places. Therefore, the collection area is not visible. The same drugs that can be detected in urine can also be detected in hair, with a few exceptions such as LSD and mushrooms. Now let's talk about an interesting specimen that can be used for drug testing, nails, meaning fingernails and toenails. We're seeing an increased interest, especially in the court system. Nail specimens are almost impossible to adulterate. I can't think of one person that really wants to pull all 10 nails out at the nail bed. There are two different detection periods in nails. If the tips of 10 nails are clipped, which is the upper white part of the nail past the fingertips, the detection will be for a 30-day period six months ago. The surface of the donor's nails can then be shaved, providing additional information from about 10 to 14 days after use up to the beginning of the six-month period. Nail specimen testing shares some of the same advantages of hair, from no need for same gender collectors or restroom facilities to no donor-induced waiting. Nails are also an excellent alternative to body hair, which is generally collected if a person does not have sufficient head hair for drug testing. Nail collections are less embarrassing for the donor in an alternative hair collection situation. Again, nail testing is more expensive than urine testing, however, it's about the same price as drug testing with hair specimens. Donors may not like that all 10 fingernails or toenails may be clipped and their surfaces filed, which points to another advantage, surprise. Donors do not anticipate their nails may be used for a drug test. The final specimen we will review is oral fluid using a lab-based screen and confirmation. Why did I say lab-based? There are a number of oral fluid instant kits on the market. However, there are also concerns of false positive results, and on a number of occasions, there was not enough specimen left after the screen to perform a viable confirmation at the laboratory, putting the organization ordering the test at risk. The detection time for oral fluid is from recent ingestion to up to one or two days. Again, depending on the variables discussed earlier under urine drug testing. Therefore, this is a good specimen for post-accident, post-incident, or reasonable suspicion situations. Advantages to testing oral fluid include no need for a special facility, accommodations or same gender collectors, a quick collection method with no wait time, and oral fluid is very difficult to adulterate. At Expertox, we suggest Orisure Technologies Intercept Oral Fluid Drug Test. Besides its viability, we like the fact that it can be inventoried at our customers' locations and trained personnel can manage the collection process performed by the donor under their observation. This also does away from on-site or other collection fees. This has been advantageous to employers with 24-7 and after-hours operations that are located in rural areas where it's difficult to get to a collection site, as well as offshore locations. The detection period is short. Company personnel that manage the collection process must be fully trained, and we can handle that for you. We like to suggest the mix-it-up approach to drug testing. Mix up the when you will initiate drug testing, as well as the type of specimen that will be collected. This will keep drug users and abusers out of your company, further improving overall health and safety and protecting your organization's culture and character. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding alternative drug testing specimens or would like to learn more about Expertox's services, please contact us at 281 Four seven six four six zero zero, or info at expertox.com.